Hi and welcome to the Minecraft family channel. This is Tyra. I have a bit of a, a, a progress video and wanted to talk about where I've been and what I've been doing and so on since I haven't posted much lately. Um, we've been uh, back from uh, summer holidays now for what mo almost a month and uh, are starting to get back into things. There's been two parents meetings, there's been uh, uh, homeworks, um, so we've been really, really busy and uh, yeah, just getting uh, back into stuff. And uh, at the same time, we've bought a new car for my husband, um, one who can move our caravan around Europe so we don't have to book hotels and so on. And on top of that, we um, we all also had my husband's birthday yesterday, so contrary congrats to him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we've been uh, really really busy, and that's really nice. So I haven't, I really haven't done as much that I thought that I would make a video, and then I should do an unboxing or anything. But yeah, and on top of it, the weather here is beautiful. It's nice, but it's really really hot um it's around 90 degrees so um yeah hot like i don't know so um uh, we are slowly getting back to it and uh, i think i'm just going to show you because i have a new start of course i started something um on cross stitch and i have some whip on my diamond painting and I have a, a new purchase, um, which was one that I just couldn't, I just couldn't leave it. But uh, should, I'm just going to start with my diamond painting, I think, because many of you is coming to see the diamond painting. So I have only been working this uh, period on Victoria Moon diamond painting so here she is um, so I'm finished with all of the background and I'm working now on her dress and uh, the colors looks magnificent and I'm so looking forward to to finish her so I think I'm going to do this part and then I'm going to take a break from her and then start back on my uh, large painting to uh, to try and achieve uh, to get the house done as I really wanted to do. So yeah, uh, so yeah, but she's looking good and the beads are good and so on. So yeah, I hope you can see. Yeah, you could see her. Yes, up here is it's like oh, um, up here you have her um, head and so on. So I haven't I haven't completed that part, but that would come so Elsa can be finished. Uh, and here we have for you who haven't seen her. This is the mug of, of her. I don't hope that her eyes are going to look like that. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> because then she's going to be really, really scary. So yeah, but that's uh, that's what I've been doing on my um, on my diamond painting. I haven't really done anything else. I've got no new purchases on diamond painting. I've got so much that um, I have to like get around ninety. So uh, I haven't really bought any diamond paintings lately. I still have a lot of unboxings to do because uh, they're sitting up here. And there's a lot. And um, Victoria Moon is going to send me another one, which is going to be a square one. And um, I chose one which is uh, going to look amazing when done. But also want to demonstrate why you shouldn't be too worried if you get a uh, white and black and white painting with no uh, black and white diamonds in it. Or they're probably going to be black, but there's not going to be much white in it. And I'm going to show you why. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to receiving that one. And yeah, um, what should we do next? I think I'm just going to show me, show you my, uh, my stitching uh, cups, which I do when I go back and forth from work. I have also been working a bit on them when uh, we have had some time in the evening just to sit down. Um, it's been so easy. These ones are so easy to work on. They are from AliExpress. And I think that the result, as you can see, it's going to look really, really good. I finished the top part of the... Uh, yeah, I finished all the, the, the top cup and then I... I I almost finished the top half of the cup here and then we need to do all of this. So um, <laughs> I'm still so amazed because this is so slow going compared with um, with diamond painting. Uh, but uh, I think it's going to look so good when it's done. And uh, for you, of, of, if you're one of those who doesn't really like to um, stitch because you need to count and so on. These one here from the Joy Sunday store, they are amazing because you don't have to count. Uh, the print is really clear in them. I haven't, there are a booklet with it for those of you who want to have that one and check that the colors are placed right. I just put them on. Um, but it turns out like this when you just stitch the colors like you would diamond paint. Um, so, and I'm really, really pleased with it. So yeah, uh, looking forward to getting that one done and then it needs to go out in the kitchen, I think. Being framed and going out in the kitchen. So yeah. And then, what else did I do? I haven't had much. So yeah, and then there's my new start and I am just looking for... If I can see and find, I don't think I can show you the pattern for it. Um, this is uh, one of Martina Weber's. Uh, she does the Shadow Lane. Um, she has this, a page called shadowlanes.de. I think she's a German uh, artist. and. Um, this one was a freebie at a point and I'm just like, I think at the time and now it's it's not longer, no longer a freebie. Um, so I'm not going to show you um, my uh, chart for it. So I'm just going to show you uh, the top of it. And if I can find it, I'm just going to pause the video here and insert the picture of how it should look like. But this is what I've got done. Um, I haven't used the cold four, uh, uh, the cold four threads in it. I have uh, found my own thread. These are this one is. I don't know if you can see this. I think you can. This one is a DMC uh, gold collar. It's a really difficult one to stitch with, but I think it looked okay. And these small stitches here, which aren't that clear because, uh, yeah, they're just not very visible. Um, they are done from, um, from my uh, silk threads, which I bought from China and that I'm probably good, not going to do. Uh, because I thought that this would be silk cross stitch, but this is almost a sil silk. Here are all the threads. Uh, but this is uh, one of those where you do long stitches on them. And I don't think, oh, well, I am not going to do that. So I'm, I, I, instead of throwing it out or, yeah, I am just going to use the sil all the beautiful silks here and um and use them alternatively on uh, on different stuff and uh, i thought that they would look beautiful on this one um 
So uh, the only ups or downside with uh, the silks here are that they are like not gathered, that the threads are like a bit fluffy. So I think, and that's why I'm getting the result as I'm do getting. But for a first go and a first try on these, I think they're going to be very beautiful. There's also pearls going on, and I think that I'm going to look into my own collections and, and find some pearls. I don't think that I'm going to, to order the call for petite uh, pearls, but but beads or yeah beads, but uh, find some that I think would look good. So it's not going to cost me a fortune because these kits are really expensive and that's why I wanted to try to make one um, and try and complete a little one and then see if it, that's something that I really like to do before investing. Yeah, some of the really big kits are $300. I love them. They're so beautiful. But oh my god, they're expensive. So um, I wanted to make sure that this was something that I wanted to do before investing anything else in it. So I'm just going to use the threads, which reminds me of uh, the colors in it. And I have this pouch full of threads. Um, and there's going to be down here. It's going to be a really light border and I think the color was 3171. I don't have that color, but I found one similar to. So I'm just going to use that and that's how I'm going to do it all the way around. And then we can see how it's going to look because uh, it doesn't have to cost a fortune. And this one, uh, this fabric I took from my from this one uh, which I, I I would never going to I was never going to stitch but this one I think I only paid three dollars for so this is a three dollars fabric so yeah so cheap cheap uh, so I don't think that I'm going to invest much in it but it's fun to do and uh, I did all of this just in one evening so yeah um i think that's what i've been doing and it's not much and i'm not over impressed myself um but um that's what i've had time to do uh, i did draw a bit uh, i sometimes draw together with my my daughter i have some drawing books where which i bought a long time ago and they've just been st sitting uh, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not really getting anything done on them. But I have this one. I don't know if you know these. These are Color Me Wild. And uh, I did what this one. So, and I'm not a good drawer. So it's not nothing. It's uh, it's nothing that I'm going to show on your, on my, uh, on my uh, uh, channel together with my family. So, uh, but I have some drawing books, which I think, I love these ones. Um, uh, these are beautiful. They are so imaginary. Um, so, and this, who doesn't like shallow films? <laughs> so, uh, uh, this one is also going to be fun to draw at some point where when I get around to it. But this now it's summer and uh, none of us are really being creative at the moment. So, uh, so yeah. And I didn't even get anything beaded. Um, so, yeah. No. <laughs> it's a bit, sorry, it's a bit, uh, bit boring this time. But that's how it is. Um, I did buy something. Of course, I bought something. I bought him, <laughs> and I love him. And it's um, it's going to be uh, some sort of. Uh, I think I'm going to have my teacups, and then I think I'm going to have him here, some sort of as some sort of companion um, piece. Or oh, he's just so cute, isn't he? Sitting there being 
nasty in his little cup. I think he's um, he hasn't had his morning cup coffee yet. Do you think that, that that's the watch from? One of the things that I didn't see these. Uh, this is a store from Etsy, and uh, she has all sorts of uh, beautiful things. She's placed in Poland, so for us living in uh, in um, uh, Europe, they are uh, they are really cheap in um, in uh, in in postage. So uh, I think I paid around. $30 or something for for this one but one thing that I didn't see was the fabric size and I don't know if you can see this but this is like so small I've never seen such a small count before I think it must be a 32 count um, 2 over 2 over 2 I think it is as far as I remember um so highly complex i think it's a two over two yeah murano lugana to 32 count 19 colors and blends it's not um it's not a, a huge picture um and uh you can see here but it's beautiful though I'm just going to find <laughs> this is only what is is included so because it's not a huge picture so I think it's going to be an easy stitch it's not a huge stitch but <clears throat> you need glasses or something I don't know um, but I'm looking forward to starting this one. I I um I think I want it on a small Q snap. Um, I need also just to just to uh, be sure that uh, it doesn't fray too much because I can see there's a lot of fraying. But I've learned something that you need to pull the outer string if I can. Let's start here. If you can pull the outer string all the way by down, you have an even even piece, and you always need to do that. So, for instance, this isn't even. So now I think, just by looking at it, but let's check that I have an even piece here, because it's all the way through. I think this one is even. And let's check this one as well. Yeah, even. So now it's even all the way around and you can start on it. You just have to stop for, uh, stop it from fraying. And you do that just by, uh, by stitch the ends. Or just, yeah, just stitch it all the way around. So I need to have that done. Um, so yeah, that's all. I don't... I don't really have anything else to show. Bit boring video, <laughs> but I hope it's okay. Um, I'm going to do some uh, some updates and uh, hopefully have something to show you next week. Uh, because the weather should hopefully sometimes you soon become a bit cold and then we're going to towards um, winter and so on and then I'm going to do more. Uh, videos and so on uh, so yeah I hope uh, you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and um, see you in my next one bye for now happy happy diamond painting and stitching and all the good crafty stuff bye for now